What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I want to give you guys some tips of what not to do before you go work out or do strenuous activity, okay? So everybody always talks about things they should do and what you should do, but there are definitely some things that you should not do or that will give you a negative effect on your workout. Let's talk about them. They're very common. I think you guys will all like, you know, like say like, you know what, that's me in some circumstances, I guess, right? So the first one is, is not to eat a huge meal before you go and work out. All right. Now, it's okay to eat before you go work out, have a protein shake, right? You want your body to have some protein in there, maybe some branched chain amino acids, some different things, okay? So it's good to do, but you don't want to just, you know, stuff yourself, just eat as much as possible, you're like, oh, blur it out. If it, one, it's, it's a lot harder. Your body is in a slower metabolism state at that point. The other thing is, is you get tired, right? That, that's one thing, when we get full, think of holidays, when you just stuff yourself full of these different turkey, ham, chicken, whatever it is, you're gonna get full and that's what you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel full and you're gonna feel, you know, set and you wanna go get some sleep. So it might make you tired. So this is some, definitely something you wanna stay away from. Don't overeat before doing activity or the workouts, okay? I promise you, you guys will be good. The second thing is, don't overdo it on pre-workouts or stimulants. This is a very, very common one. And let me give you an example. Some people get pre-workouts and usually it's one serving size and that serving size of, let's just say caffeine, can be anywhere from 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams per serving. That means per scoop. Now, some of these people take two, three, four scoops. That's way too much as far as caffeine goes. You're overdosing this caffeine. And caffeine, you know, by legal description, is a drug, okay? It's, it's not a bad drug, but it's something that you don't want to overdose on because it gives you negative side effects. You can get jitters, heart palpitations, nausea, uh, your stomach. So having to go to the bathroom, in, in the gym bathrooms before you go work out uh, is, is not really optimal, I guess, or not really uh, the place you want to be in. Or maybe you're, you do, I don't know. But <laughs> it's something, a place that I would not like to do. And I used to pre do pre-workouts back in the day. I don't do them anymore. I do Hercules Potion or ECA Stack Plus, and I get no feeling like that. But there are a lot of people out there that still use these different things. So I want you guys to be aware of this. Don't do it. It will mess up your workout. You might not feel good, okay? That's not going to give you an optimal state to work out the way that you want to to get you the optimal results that you're looking for, all right? Third thing is, don't go home before you go to the gym. Don't get off path. If you have to work, it's totally understandable. We all have to work every day, right? We got to provide a life, you know, a livelihood. We got to take care of our families. This is first priority and any means necessary, especially with me. But if you get off track or you, you make an excuse of where you need to go or what you need to do before that gym time, you have to set it as an appointment, schedule it in, whatever it is, you need to do that. Unless somebody's dying in the hospital, right, or you're hurt pretty bad, you need to go and you need to get it done and then you can get out of there and, and you can go take care of whatever you need to afterwards. So schedule it in, don't have any distractions. And a lot of people, if they do go home, they get real comfortable like, oh, you know, I'll just go tomorrow. Right? I've been there, I know exactly how it is. So don't do that. I promise you, you'll have a better successful rate of going to the gym, having better activity, okay, and getting yourself better results. So this is just some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years that I wanna share with you guys to hopefully help you guys out. So I'm John from Titan. I got a ton of these different videos coming your way to help you guys out. So stay tuned. I'll be back with a lot, lot more. Thanks, guys.